with this question, we've been given 3y over 4 plus 5 is equal to 11. So I'm going to firstly rewrite it just like this to give myself a little bit more room. Okay, the last thing I did in making this equation was add 5. So the first thing I'll do in solving it is subtract 5. And you'll notice it cancels things out. It actually leaves me with less information. In this case, 3y over 4 is equal to 6. The next thing I have to cancel down is the divided by 4. So I'll multiply by 4 on both sides and you get 3y is equal to 24. Now hopefully you can see there that if I divide both sides by 3 you get an answer that y is equal to 8. And you can check that in the original equation by substituting in. Now with the next equation it's actually got brackets which can make things a little bit more difficult. So let's rewrite it and it equals 1, so I'll fix that up. Okay, if I multiply both sides by 5, it'll cancel out the over 5, or divided by 5, and leaves me equal to 5 on the right-hand side. So I'm not showing the steps, I'm showing the impact of the steps here. Now, the next thing is, if I divide both sides by 3, that'll cancel out and leave me with just x minus 2 is equal to 5 on 3. Now, don't let fractions worry you. All that's happening is we're working with a different style of number. Now if I add 2 to both sides, it'll get x by itself, and 2 plus 5 over 3 gives you an answer of 3 and 2 thirds.